Okay, well, for right now, I'm just going to be satisfied with uh, the place that I have the camera sitting. Um, it's not the setup that I would really like to have. <clears throat> um, so, when I'm actually in front of the camera, I don't really remember all the stuff that occurred to me that I could say that when I was walking around earlier, it's like I had these ideas about what I could do for video, and, <clears throat> but I mean, this is a vlog, a vlog, I guess. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I know one thing I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about what's going on with my hair right now. Um, I didn't really do this on purpose. Um, I um, Basically, at the moment, I'm still unemployed, and I'm getting food stamps for the first time in my life. Um, and you're not supposed to buy non-food items with food stamps. And you're not supposed to buy things like shampoo. And I'm actually, like, I mean, I'm so afraid of breaking the law and, you know, doing food stamp fraud, fraud that I won't even buy a bottle of shampoo with my food stamps. Um, and I don't have the cash assistance. That's something else that's separate. I did not get that. I only got the food stamps. Um, <clears throat> with that, yeah, you can buy whatever you want with that. That's just cash. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, I ran out of my shampoo and conditioner, and I decided to try the challenge of... Um, Washing my hair, it's, it's more complicated than this. I'm, I'm processing the rest of the story while I'm trying to tell it. Um, <clears throat> using only uh, baking soda and vinegar on my hair, which a lot of people are doing on the Internet, and which I would have wanted to do um, because I don't like the chemicals that are in shampoo. Um, I have used the fine gold diet, which is a diet where you don't eat um, artificial colors and flavors and preservatives. And <clears throat> one of the things that they mentioned was that lotions you put on your skin also have chemicals that go through the skin and they go through your body. And I'm not talking about like 20 years from now, they might possibly give you cancer. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about something where the lotion goes through your skin and you start having a reaction all over your whole body right away, like your moods become irritable, you become impatient, inattentive, restless, you get ringing in your ears, you know, things like that can happen if you have particular chemicals in the lotions you put on your skin. And that applies to um, shampoo and conditioner also. Um, they contain sulfate, and sulfate is one of the biggest uh, problem causers because, I don't have a good word for it, because when you have a lot of, like if I go to bed with my hair wet after shampooing and conditioning, it's touching right against my skin for a long period of time while I'm trying to sleep, and it causes apnea, as in you it's not obstructive apnea where, like, you're choking, you know, because it's like it's blocking. It's just you don't even try to breathe. It's called cent central apnea. And there are all kinds of sulfur compounds that will do that to you, sulfur chemicals um, <clears throat> that make you stop breathing. You just stop even trying to breathe while you're sleeping. So that's the kind of apnea that I experienced if I would go to bed with um, with my hair wet after I had washed it with um, shampoo or conditioner. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to use up the last of the minutes on this video camera, and then I'll be really annoyed whenever it shuts itself off. But anyway, so, okay, the real story was I actually had a bar of soap 
left over when I ran out of shampoo and conditioner. So I started trying to wash my hair with soap. <laughs> and I knew not to do that based on past experience and millions of other people's experiences as well. You know, everyone knows it is awful when you wash your hair with soap. So I was getting all of this, like, white, gummy soap buildup soap scum on my hair and I couldn't even comb it. It was like sticking so much and I had no conditioner. So I started using coconut oil because I do have coconut oil. And um, so it worked, but it made my hair extremely greasy. But since I was braiding my hair, which is why it's wavy right now, um, and not like seeing anyone, I'm, I mean, I'm unemployed. I'm home by myself. It doesn't matter what I look like. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that was really greasy. So then I, I started trying to, I had vaguely heard that you can use vinegar to get the soap scum to come out. So I started trying to use the vinegar, and then I just went to the baking soda, too. Like, I'll try both. I'll try the baking soda vinegar shampooing method, because I can buy those with food stamps. <laughs> so, like, all of those are foods, and I know that I'm not going to get in trouble for, um, food stamp fraud <clears throat> by getting vinegar, baking soda, and coconut oil, although I don't actually need coconut oil. I already have a big container of it, so I didn't have to buy any more. Um, but, yeah, those were foods, and so I bought them just to try it. And, well, I think that if I used enough baking soda to actually wash my hair, it would probably give me a chemical burn. And, like, the vinegar, I know, burns my face when I get it on my face. So, like, I'm really cautious. I'm using, like, only a tiny bit in a sink full of water, and it's not working at all. <laughs> so, basically, I have several days of soap scum, coconut oil, my own grease, and, like, dust and lint, and I've been trying to wash it out with... <sighs> baking soda and vinegar, <laughs> and nothing is working at all. So, like, I now just have really greasy hair today, and, I mean, not, none of this even matters because I'm not, I'm not going to a job. But I'm going to run out of minutes. My video camera is really pathetic. But that's what's going on with my hair. And what else was I going to say? I was going to say something else, but I don't remember what it was. <sighs> Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. It doesn't matter. So, so yeah, that's it. I'll make